Hi there, my name's Phil Binks. Today I want to talk to you about a new piece of software which, if you are a video maker, should be really of interest to you. You'll see that there are some great advantages for people who are running things like Ecamm Live or OBS to use their system to store videos instead of using YouTube or maybe Facebook. Uh, it, this seems to be a great alternative that I want to introduce you to. So, my name's Phil Binks, I'm from Help Fulfill, and today I want to introduce you to a product called Loom. And Loom is a software that allows you to create videos. It's really designed for you to record video messages for colleagues at work and in business, but it would also work perfectly if you're making videos for greetings, for friends and family, that kind of thing, it works perfectly for that. But the thing that's of great interest is that it is a storage area for people like you and me so that we can store our videos that can be watched instead of having to store them on YouTube and Facebook. Now, there's not a lot wrong with having uh, YouTube and Facebook videos, but if you want to just show a video, maybe a, a small tutorial of a software package or a screenshot or two, whilst you're talking in the background, then Loom presents a much nicer way of doing that and a very quick way of storing the video and then being able to share it. It also doesn't come with the added um, problems that YouTube, for instance, will show additional videos to the person watching your video if you were to say embed that into your email or indeed into the website and Loom allows you to embed the video that you make into a web page as well. So it forgoes the problems of showing other videos and indeed videos that might be of competitors products in a much nicer cleaner interface and allows you to get straight into showing the video that you want to show without any further distractions. Let me show you how this works. So let's move on to the Loom screen. So this is a zoomed in view of the interface that I want to show you. So up here we have the icon, the logo that we see as well just over here that I've added to the screen. If I click on that, it brings up a, uh, a kind of a control panel for you and what we see is that we want to make a video. There is a screenshot functionality as well now that's being built in because it's a new software. There's lots of new features being added all the time. So this may well be out of date in another six months time, this video, because there'll be many more features added. Anyway, what you can do within the Loom software is you can record screen and camera. This is typically used if you want to do a software demo within the Loom interface itself. Of course, you can do that within Ecamm Live, but these are built into Loom as well. We can just record the screen only if we wanted to, and the window here says, um, which window do we want to choose if you've got several windows of an app, and we can select an app if we want to, and an app window. So we can also just record camera only as well. And this is what we would be using if we were using, and you can see it's kind of come up into the background, uh, if we were using the virtual camera, because we can do that. Let me just go to screen and camera just to stop that being a confusion to us. So the important thing is that we can now, instead of using the FaceTime camera within Loom, if I click on this, we can see that there's a number of different cameras that you can choose, anything that's been connected to your computer. So you've got the virtual camera from OBS or Ecamm Live's virtual camera, which is excellent. And that will give you then the same um, screenshot as you see here with me on, on the screen right now in your recordings. Also, you can change the microphone and you can actually capture the same looped uh, input from Ecamm Live if you want to, or you can record just directly from uh, whichever microphone you might have included. So for instance, I might choose Black Hole in this situation because that's uh, linked from my Ecamm Live system. If 
Finally, in the demo version of the software, you're limited to 720p as a maximum. But as you see, HD is available up to 4K if you go to the business plan. Now, the business plan, as I speak in 2022 in January, is less than $10 a month. And it may well be worth going for that extra quality if that's of importance to you. There's now a start recording button here, which would allow me to start recording the screen. So I will just turn off this virtual camera because it will confuse what you're looking at. Not, it doesn't confuse me, but it will confuse you. So I'll turn Loom back onto the FaceTime camera, whereas the camera that's up here is of course from Ecamm Live. So let's have a look and see what the screen looks like once I have done that. So what you now see down here is the camera icon from Loom itself. I have the ability to change the size of it. We're on the small dot at the moment, but if I click on the larger dot, it, it enlarges this camera. Let me move it to the top of the screen. Um, and it always has this kind of sharp corner. I can as well click on this square icon here if I want to and that will give me a full screen view of my camera. I can change what's seen in this little inset so I could have the still logo of myself just there, look. And finally, I can change the background if I click on this icon here, and that will bring up a new window where I could actually add, let's say, blur. So you'll see the background here is blurred for me. If I go none, it comes back. If I choose any of these, then it will try to do a green screen for me, similar to the sort of thing that happens with Zoom. So we're talking about Loom, of course, here. Um, but you see it's pretty poor quality. So I wouldn't recommend that for high quality recording. As I say, what I would be able to do is to choose the Ecamm Live camera and shows, show the whole thing that you're seeing here in Loom and record that. So that's how it would work. You've got start recording. You see it says here, if I just go back to the previous screen, there is a five minute limit listed here. That's because it's the free application. If you upgrade to the full application, you have no limit to the length of video that you can record. And there's also no limit to the number of videos you can record. In the free version, they're five minutes and you're allowed to have 25 active videos. So let's move on to the next scene and I'll show you once you've recorded your video, what it looks like in the Loom interface. In Loom's interface, what we, where we are now is we're in Google Chrome and we've gone into the loom.com website and into my library. So I'm showing you my personal library right now. And in the library under personal, and you can have create several libraries should you want to. Um, you can have business ones, etc., etc. With the free app, you just get your personal library. But the videos are shown here in this interface. Now, if I look at just one of the videos, you can see that there is a, a copy link button and you can paste that link either into a email or a web page. You can star your videos. And at the top here with these three buttons here, you can move it, rename it, duplicate it, archive them, download or delete the videos. And you can do that as a group of videos as well. Let me click on this to show you what it looks like and sounds like. So it would open up in the zoom screen and you get this moving thumbnail. You can change the speed. You've got video preferences where you can trim your own videos. These wouldn't be shown to a watcher, but a watcher would have a very similar view. So you've got things like trimming uh, ability. You can uh, even cut out the ums and the ahs on the business plan version as well. So there's a lot of little video trimming options that are well worth having within Loom should you start to use it. If I click on the play button, 
you may or may so not be able to hear this a bit loud, sorry. The e virtual window, virtual camera. Uh, let me just try to go into demo mode just to show that that would be recorded as well. So I've now gone into. So what you can see mode. there is. Connecting up um, on the screen. Give me so one second. So what you can see there is uh, the ability for me to fast forward or go back five seconds to change the volume, to change the speed, go into full screen mode and um, toggle it as a theatre mode thing. So that's all really, really good as a viewer of a Loom video, but also you have these, these abilities to trim the video you can see we've got the timeline at the bottom where I can trim it. I can split it should I want to as well. That's a very simple case of being able to do that. And you simply click on the save changes and that will save the changes for you and you can rename those as well. So you can join two, essentially two clips together and cut bits out should you want to. So uh, very, very useful altogether, I think. And that's why I wanted to introduce it to you. So I hope you find that a little bit of a whet of the appetite. And uh, it is really interesting. And I've been using it, as you can see, for myself. And it is that extra bit of ability over and above sharing videos on YouTube, for instance. It gives you that little bit more kind of security that your customer is only going to be watching the video that you make. Plus, there's these very simple editing tools which may well be very useful for you. If you want to have a look at Loom, I've left a link in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. I hope you found this really useful. I look forward to seeing you in the near future and helping you again. Take care now. Thanks for watching.